Hey, what's up, guys? It's Miss Big Sassy Pants. Welcome to Let's Play Kizuna. Or Kizuna? Something like that. Um, the game I found on Game Jolt is a visual novel. So, I want to see what it's about. And the main character has my name, so... From what I read. It was a beautiful day in this part of the country. Meadow grass stood on end like a thousand bright spirits, eager for my attention. Here, away from the city, I surely could paint some truly beautiful landscapes. It grew dark. It was getting late. I thought I saw a bed and breakfast nestled somewhere in the grass. There! See that character has my name. Anyways. I packed up my things and made my way to the small house. Hello? H hello Yes, welcome. How can I help you? I'm looking for a room for the night. Do you have any vacancies? Her smile was lovely. Yes, come in. It's getting dark. You're just in time for dinner. F thank you. Please help yourself. Thank you. On the table is a fantastic spread. Everything looked so much better than what I had gotten used to while backpacking. Even the napkins seemed appetizing. Everything looks great. Eat as much as you'd like. The food was delicious. I ate and ate. I was starting to feel like I was making a real pig of myself. Thank you for the meal. It's my pleasure. I make dinner like this every night, but so much usually goes to waste. I'm so glad there's someone here to eat with me tonight. What? It's just us here? Mm-hmm. It's cooking like this. People should be making reservations. She laughed, her smile lighting up the dim room. Will you be staying a while or just the night? Well, I was thinking of just passing through, but with that beautiful view and this great service, I plan to stay a few days at least. That's great. What did you say your name was? Oh, it's Riley. Oh, Riley, you can call me Emily. Your room is up on the top floor. Please, make yourself at home. What do I owe you for? We'll discuss pricing when you're ready to check out. For now, I'll just enjoy and rest up. I wasn't sure how I felt about that. I was taking this trip on a very tight budget, but it was such a nice place to stay. I went up to the stairs to the attic that I had rented. The furnishings were sparse and decidedly country, but I had a vague charm that made the hairs on my arms tingle. The bed looked comfortable. I had changed into my bed clothes and settled into bed. Ah. It was, it was comfortable. I closed my eyes. <laughs> what? Hmm. I suppose it was just my imagination. Or Emmeline, or the wind. It was morning. The crisp white sunlight had nudged me gently awake. That was refreshing. I dressed and went downstairs with my knapsack. After a quick breakfast, I'll explore the nature around the house more. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Riley. Please join me. I've prepared breakfast. I'm sure there's something you'll like. Wow, there's so many choices. You've outdone yourself, Emmeline. Lay down on the table where plates piled high with bacon, sausage, eggs. Prepared two ways, even French toast, pancakes, and fresh oatmeal. Oh, what should I have? Bacon and eggs. Bacon complements the eggs perfectly, not too dry and definitely not burned. This is delicious. I wasn't sure what your favorite was, so I made a little everything. Please eat as much as you like. We talk of pleasant things over breakfast. So what brings you out to this part of the world? I'm a painter, or really, I'm, I'm here to paint the scenery. I only just started painting, that is. I used to be in business. So you're finding yourself, is that it? Yes, I, I think so. It's really beautiful out here. Not many people come this far to appreciate it. I'm grateful that you're here. I guess lonely by myself. Suddenly, she seemed so sad. Anyhow, pl please. I'm sure you'd like to begin your painting. Dinner will be on the table at sunset. Thank you, Emily. I hope she'll be alright. I gather my things and head outside. Ah, the fresh air is wonderful. The sun was on its way to rising high up in the sky. A small amount of morning dew left the leaves on the trees glistening like tears. I was inspired. I pulled out my things and began to scratch scratch out a rough draft. 
No, that's not right. No, it's quite like that either. Maybe... Maybe if I do it like this. The hours went on and the sun began to set. It's getting late, I should head in. Yeah, let's go back. It's late and I'm hungry, time to go back. I just got in the dark. It just got dark when I reached the house. Welcome back! You're just in time. Enjoy it. Thank you for the meal. This delicious casserole. Tuna noodle, I think. Ugh, tuna. Was it pro a productive day painting? Oh, well. You no? Know? How oh, well, I was able to paint a little bit. It's not very good. Artists are always the hardest on themselves. Let me have a look. Whoa. Well, it is original. No, it's okay. Really, it's lovely. <laughs> she feels bad to tell me exactly how she feels about it. She's trying so hard to be pleasant. Thanks, Emmeline. Really, dinner was delicious. Do you really live out here all, all on your own? Mm hmm? Really? No family? Uh oh. I had a husband. I had a sister, too. What happened? They passed away. Both of them? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Emily. No, no, it's alright. Seems like such a long time ago, but sometimes... Sometimes I, I really feel like they're still here with me. I'm so sorry, Emily. I didn't mean... No, it's alright. I'll go. No. Please, sit, have some tea with me. She's so kind. She wiped her tears and sat down. Come, sit. I took a seat. She poured tea from an expensive-looking blue and white kettle. The transparent brown liquid flowed into the matching cups seated in their saucers. Do you take sugar? Cream? No, this is fine. I didn't want to trouble her. Shall we have tea? Sure. Um, ask her about something else. Never mind. <laughs> Let's talk about the weather. It's such nice weather today. I hope it continues tomorrow. It is very nice. This time of year, we have very mild weather. I really should get to sleep. I'm exhausted. Okay, good night. Wow, I'm so tired. I could just pass out right here. I change my clothes and crawl into bed. Bed. Ah. Ah, what a nice day. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Please have some breakfast. I made your favorite bacon and eggs. What are your plans for the day, Emily? Uh, is something bothering her? Oh, I'm not sure. Probably straighten up the house, mostly. She seems alright now. What do you plan to do today? I'm not sure yet, either. Hmm. Should probably work on my painting. Ah, oh, the fresh air is wonderful. Uh, so I was high in the sky, morning dew. I was inspired, pull my things, ran straight. No, that's not right. No, it's not quite like that either. Maybe do like this. Hours went on, set. You know, like, stay a little longer. I'll stay a little longer. I'm almost done. Had it had long since been dark when I returned to the house. I could barely see the nose in front of my face. Hello, sorry, I'm late. Uh, no worries. Dinner's ready. I've been keeping it warm on the stove. I was getting carried away. It was just something really special out here. Well then, I can't be upset with you. Enjoy! Was it productive day painting? Ah, uh, well. No. Ah, uh, well. I was doing a little Lars or I was Oh, that's nice. I like it. Well, I do see improvement. If you say so. <laughs> really, I'm the trees there. Oh, uh, maybe painting isn't my thing. <laughs> Thanks, Emily. Shall we have tea? Sure. Let's talk about her sister. I don't mean private. Could you tell me more about your sister? My sister was my best friend when we were growing up. We were twins. Mother always confused us. I suppose it serves her right for dressing us the same. Though we were twins, we did not share luck. I married, but she had an illness. I tried to care for her. I married, but she died. I'm sorry, Emily. No, no, it's... It's not your fault. I really should get to sleep. I'm exhausted. 
Okay, good night. Oh, I'm exhausted, but I hope Emily will be alright. I feel like I might have stuck my nose where it didn't belong. What a sad story. I really ought to get to sleep. I change my clothes and crawl into bed. Ah. You shouldn't be in here. Uh, Emily? How, how strange. Oh, what a nice t You shouldn't be in here. What a strange dream. <laughs> I realized the door was ajar. I thought I closed that. Huh, maybe it wasn't a dream. I'll have to ask Emily about that. Maybe she doesn't want me staying here anymore. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Please have some breakfast. I made your favorite, again. What are your plans for the day? Uh, something bothering her? Oh, sure. I'll probably straighten up the house, mostly. She seems alright now. What are plan to do? I'm not sure yet. Hmm. Did I say something to offend you? I didn't mean to. No, no, of course not. Why do you say so? You've been a wonderful guest. Well, you came into my room last night. You gave me the impression that you didn't want me to stay here anymore. I... I did? Yeah, you said you shouldn't be in here. I did? Oh, oh dear. She doesn't remember it. Sorry, it was a dream, I guess it was. I thought it was a dream, I guess it was. Sorry to bother you with it. Oh, no bother. Thank you for breakfast, I'm gonna get to work now. Good luck. I can't shake the feeling that something's gone wrong. I should have two today. Ah, oh, let's the house. Uh, let's go... To the kitchen. It always smells like something tasty in here. Mm, let's inspect the cupboard. Nothing unusual, just simple fare. Leave. Let's go to her bedroom. Her was nice, moss and a little messy. I suppose she wasn't an anticipating visitors. Expect the chest. Moth eaten child's teddy bear, a receiving blanket, and a humidor filled with crumbling cigars. And her door says it's a girl. I wonder what happened. Wait, there's something else. A photo? The frame is cracked. It looks like a picture of Emily and two of her could it be her twin sister. The frame seems worn out. The finish is worn as though it had been rubbed many times. Leave. Let's go to the basement. Oh god. <laughs> it looks like there's a pile of wood over there in the back. It's hard to tell from here, but probably have begun to roll it. Inspect the pile. Maybe it looks like the shape of something. Is it a crib? It's only half finished. <coughs> e. What was that just now? I'm getting out of here. Let's go outside. Ah, fresh air. Nob dee doo, ba dee ba dee. Drawing, painting. Ah, sure, let's stay out again. I'm gonna sleep. Okay. Hello, sorry, my I uh. No worries. Ba ba dee 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 ba I didn't mean to talk about the weather, but, you know. Anyways, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. I'm gonna make cut this into two parts. It seems pretty long, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, just keep it going. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you could like, comment, share, and subscribe, that'd be awesome. But I really appreciate you watching anyways. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, just keep it going.